Yes, so now we are discussing about uh, economics. In that economics, uh, what is a private sector? What is private enterprise? What is private enterprise example? The definition of a private enterprise is a privately owned business or industry run independently of the government. An example of private enterprise is a clothing boutique. A privately owned business enterprise, especially one preparing under a system of free enterprise or Lysis, Lysis fail capitalism. Types of uh, next topic is the uh, types of private sector businesses. What are the types of uh, private sector businesses? Private sector businesses are, so, are uh, sole proprietorship. That means uh, one uh, supermarket or Kirana, Kirana shop will be there to a proprietor that will be considered as uh, sole proprietor and partnership. Uh, uh, with the partnership also they can raise a company that is a private sector business and a small and mid-sized business. Small and mid-sized means uh, one friend's group or otherwise one relative's group or otherwise uh, some uh, clo known persons are uh, um, started a independent business with their uh, partnership that is also small and mid-sized business. Uh, large corporations and multinationals also will come under private sector. Professional and trade associations, trade unions, all these are under uh, private sector businesses. And uh, next topic is, uh, what are the characteristics of private enterprise? Main features of private sector, profit motive, private uh, ownership and control, no state part participation, independent management, private finance, work culture of employees, all these will come under these characteristics of a private enterprise. Who owns a private company? A private company is owned by either a small number of shareholders, company members or a non-governmental organization and it doesn't offer its stocks for sale to the general public. It will also be considered as a um, private company. So, one group of uh, company in the group of members in a company in a private sector is not interesting to give stocks for other general public will also be considered as private sector. Characteristics of a uh, private limited company. Limitation on membership that is always will be there and paid of capital, transferability of shares, name of company, limited liability, Perpetual uh, succession, separate legal entity, all these are considered under the characteristics of private limited company. And the next topic is, <coughs> what are private employers? <coughs> private employers means a sole proprietor, corporation, partnership, limited liability company or other entity with one or more employees. And the next topic is in the in the we are discussing about economics in that we are discussing about private enterprise. In that the next topic is how do private companies raise company, raise money? How do private companies raise money? Money from personal savings, friends and family, bank loans and private equity through angel investors and venture capitalists are all options for funding throughout the life cycle of a private company. And then the next topic is, can one person own a company? By the new companies and the Allied uh, Matters Act 1990, a single person can now start, promote, register and own a private company by being the sole shareholdership, um, by being the sole shareholder and uh, director of, uh, of his private company. So that, uh, a person can own a company also in private sector. How many direct in the next topic is how many directors are in a private company? Private companies must have at least one director and one incorporator. The director and incorporator may be the same person. Generally, uh, one director and, and the incorporator may be the same person also. Uh, private companies must have at least one director and one, one incorporator. 
but uh, both director and incorporator may be the same person. This is the significance of a private company. But generally, if it is a course of business means already partners will be there, but it is mutual understanding and agreement only. But uh, public, uh, general public uh, stock flowing will not be there. And uh, next topic is can private companies have stock? Private companies may issue stock and uh, have shareholders, but their shares don't trade on public exchanges. Private company, private persons also can share in a private company, but uh, those shares don't trade on public exchanges and are not issued through an initial public offering. As a result, private firms don't need to meet the securities and the exchange commission's strict filling requirements for uh, public companies. Companies. So once it is going to public issue sector means so many SEBI rules they have to follow, but in private sector nothing is required, only with mutual understanding and agreement only partners or shareholders will be there. <coughs> <coughs> Next topic is what is private management? Private management is when the operation and management of a publicly owned facilities are transferred to start of a privately owned organization which, uh, which specializes in a comprehensive scope of services that help make the venue more profitable, efficient and successful. And then the next topic in uh, private enterprise is how do I start a private investor as a private investor? The directly, to directly invest in private equity, you will need to work with a private equity firm. These firms will have their own investment minimums, areas of expertise, fundraising schedules and exit uh, strategies. So you will need uh, to do your research, find and find uh, one that is uh, right for you. So private in you know, private sector uh, company, that is private limited company, um, private investors also can invest, they can become workers of the company and sometimes uh, staff of the company and sometimes outers of the company also they can invest in a company as a private investor. But it is only mutual. There will be no guarantee on behalf of uh, state government or otherwise on behalf of uh, um, SEBI also. Because uh, public, if a public issue is there, then SEBI will take the responsibilities of certain extent of the limitations and all these. But in case of private investor, <coughs> that is a mutual understanding only but documentation will be there suppose one person is investing five crores in a private company private being a private investor he invests five crores in a company means some documentation and uh, um, that is uh, documentary notes will be there and notary will be there and uh, as well as uh, stamp duty will be there by all these uh, your investment will be secured by producing uh, by, pro, by producing the investment on behalf of that particular company and he can raise uh, demand also for the time being only with that documentation and only with that notary and only with that stamp duty. So 5 crores means uh, stamp duty also will be in the same way. That is uh, around 5% will be there. By that only it will become an investment in private limited company. But uh, almost 50% uh, of the investors will have mutual understanding only. I will put 5, five crores, you put 5 crores, and the other person will put 5 crores, 5%, five, 5%. Five five percent. We should share equally all these uh, three things. Likewise, they can decide. But because uh, 5 crores of uh, worth of investment means 5% of uh, stamp duty means well, how it will be? It will be 25 lakhs. So nobody will be interesting to lose that much of money. Not loss uh, that much of investment because 5 crores of uh, investment is there and as well as 25 lakhs of 5 percent means for 1 crore 5 percent 5 percent means 5 lakhs. Likewise 5 crores means 25 lakhs of uh, you know, stamp duty should be there. But all these things uh, will be there in certain times. So very big uh, private companies are there means so they will take all these things uh, according to formalities and uh, they will uh, provide the uh, stamp duty and everything and uh, they will take uh, the partnership also. Not partnership, shareholdership only. 
So one director and one incorporator is the supreme in the company and the shareholders is always a shareholder. But if it is leading by the uh, partners means that is a different thing. That is, that is according to their uh, opinions and group. And uh, next topic is can a director by be a CEO? CEO, a CEO need, need not be to be a director of the company. How many, how may be merely an employee of the company, an officer of the company, may be appointed, designated as CEO of the company. Further, the CEO who is not a director may be appointed by the board of directors also. Suppose in board of directors, so 20 are there. Each are having 5 crores of investment, uh, 100 crores are there. 20 directors are there. So board of directors will also accept the CEO generally. CEO or otherwise who is the majority shareholder in the 500, 100 crores. Uh, in 100 crores, 55 crores who is having, he can select a director, CEO directly with, uh, with intimation only, but he need not take the permission of other because the majority shareholder is his. Suppose 100 crores is there, 55 55 crores, one person is having means he can select a CEO, but uh, he, he will give an inf intimation. But uh, equal uh, board of directors are having equal partnership means they will have a board of directors meeting will be there, all should accept, otherwise majority people should accept, then only one CEO will be selected. On certain occasions, uh, uh, one uh, accounts officer may become a senior accounts officer, then uh, uh, chartered accountant, then director, then uh, he can become a CEO also. Likewise, one worker also can become a director of the company. Suppose it is a ma manufacturing company. He is having very good skills in manufacturing and he is uh, supervising the workers and uh, he can manage the company also very well. He knows the nook and corner and he is having very good tie up with uh, uh, workers of the company also. He can become a CEO also by the agreement of the board of directors. So likewise, the CEO can come from uh, staff, workers, and uh, shareholdership also, he can become a CEO. But he should have the correct understanding and the process of the company, then it will become good. And the next topic is, what is uh, private sector leadership? Private sector leaders are, see their programs as an investment and not as an exam expense. They take their uh, initiations seriously and in many cases, personally involved in uh, leading the programs and uh, even uh, providing actual training. This is the leadership. Leadership, actually in private sector leadership means that is uh, dynamism and uh, as well as uh, partnership of majority shareholders and as well as sometimes having um, very good skills also can uh, lead the company with all the directors. Because if he is having the skill in that particular company and the process, so likewise leadership will be defined by the board of directors and sometimes uh, uh, all other people also. Third party person also can lead the company uh, uh, by mutual understanding also. This is the system in private sector leadership. Wishing you all the best.